Hello friends and good day to all of you. Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about dinosaurs in the Bible. This is actually part two of Dinosaurs in the Bible Questions Answered series. Did you know that dinosaurs are in the Bible? Are you sure you know? Well, today we're going to be talking about Leviathan. Who was he? Who was Leviathan? This terrible beast, so to speak. Who was he? The Bible says in Job 41, verse 1 to 8, Can you draw out Leviathan with a hook or snare his tongue with a line which you lower? Can you put a reed through his nose or pierce his jaw with a hook? Will he make many supplications to you? Will he speak softly to you? Will he make a covenant with you? Will you take him as a servant forever? Will you play with him as with a bird? Or will you leash him for your maidens? Will your companions make a banquet of him? Will they apportion him among the merchants? Can you fill his skin with harpoons? Or his head with fishing spears? Lay your hand on him. Remember the battle. Never do it again. At first you might be thinking, well, this could be just some, any other animal like a crocodile. Because you cannot kind of play with a crocodile like you would play with a bird. And the Bible even says in verse 44, He is king over all the children of pride. Another version says, He is the king of beasts. Now, a lion's nickname is called the king of beasts. And yet, when you see the photos, the videos of the lions being defeated by elephants and hippos, you tend to see that the real king of beasts is not the lion. The real king of beasts could be the hippo or the elephant because the king of beasts is being defeated by its enemy, you know. So it's certainly not the lion, right? And if we go back, we see that you cannot... You cannot defeat him, you cannot shoot him with fishing spears or bow spears. Well, the problem with Leviathan being a crocodile is that a crocodile could be easily hurt by a bow shot or gunshot, even though it's supposed to be Leviathan the Powerful. It's still hurt by a gunshot or a bow shot. It could be easily hurt. And that's the problem with it being an alligator or a crocodile because both of these animals could be hurt. Now if we go to the next slide, God further explains to Job this mighty creature. Who can open the doors of his face with his terrible teeth all around? His rows of scales are his pride, shut up tightly as with a seal. One is so near another that no air can come between them. His sneezings flash forth light, and his eyes are like the eyelids of the morning. Out of his mouth go burning lights, sparks of fire shoot out. Smoke goes out of his nostrils as from a boiling pot and burning rushes. He regards iron as straw, and bronze as rotten wood. The arrow cannot make him flee. Sling stones become like stubble to him. Well, <laughs> crocodiles have scales and massive teeth. But wait a second. Crocodiles do not have a fire-breathing mechanism. I've never seen on video a crocodile breathe out fire. Only a snake. Plus, I've never seen a crocodile sneeze out light and have morning eyelids. And I've also never seen a crocodile with blowing snow coming out from his nose. I have never seen a crocodile do those things on video. So that eliminates the possibility of a crocodile being Leviathan. So, if your Bible has footnotes like this that say, Possibly the crocodile, 
Please remember this. The footnotes are not inspired by God. Only the words of the Bible are inspired. Only the words of the Bible are inspired. Please remember this when trying to unlock the code of dinosaurs in the Bible. Whether it's Behemoth or Leviathan, always remember this. Never trust your footnotes. Amen? Amen. The only animal that I believe fits this description God gave to Job is an animal called Sarcosuchus, which many people know to be Super Croc, that perfectly fits the description that God gave in the book of Job. Because when you look at its skull, it has like a fire-breathing mechanism. It has this hole in between where the arrow is pointing. As you can see in this picture, it has a fire-breathing mechanism. So it's very possible that it could have breathed out fire, sneezed out light flashes, and done many things that the Bible talks about. So it also has scales that are tied up. And very terrible large teeth. As I was researching for this video, it said that Sarcosuchus teeth were as large the size of a banana fruit. Isn't that very large, right? Yeah. It's very large. Very, very large. And it also has scales that are knit up very close to each other. So this is why I believe Sarcosuchus was the leviathan that god mentioned in the book of job thank you for watching this video if you were blessed by it please like and subscribe also, why don't you also share this video with your friends also subscribe to my new channel in the link below we have a new channel it's called galaji because um our friends at galaji decided to make a new youtube channel which is very new it just started in March, so please subscribe to their channel as well. And do you know what we decided to make to name our channel God Loves You? Because God loves you. So God loves you and we will see you next time. May Bye. God bless you and we'll see you next time. Bye. Like and share. God bless. Bye.